Hi, my name is Chris Fenwick and I'm using a camera like my good friend Dave Dugdale. What I want to do today is I want to show you how to take a, a typical kind of corporate video shoot uh, where uh, we went out and we shot a couple of interviews with a couple of cameras and we have to kind of manage all that, and a bunch of B-roll, and we have to manage all that media down and make our multicam clips to get started um, cutting our story. So the first thing I want to show you here is in my media folder, I have a keyword collection for each one of the cam that represents each camera and each card from the camera. So here's camera A1, camera A, card 2, B card 1, B card 2, C1, C2, etc. Okay, now I happen to know because I've actually looked at this me media that uh, my interviews are on camera A, uh, or rather card 1 and part of card two, okay? Now you see there's two guys. There's the guy with the dark suit and the guy with the light suit, and that's all I really care about so far. Well, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make a new keyword collection, and what I'm gonna call it is I'm gonna call it to sync, because I'm gonna put everything that I need to sync in that keyword collection. So it gets pretty easy here in the beginning. I'm just gonna take all of the uh, clips from card A, drop that into the to sync. I'm going to take the appropriate ones from card A2. Now you remember uh, the guy with the light suit, he's just got one clip on card two. Let's rem that's going to help us if we remember that. And then I'm going to go to B1. I'm going to take all the shots there, put those into sync. I'm going to take B2 again, one uh, clip from the first guy and these drag that into two sync and of course I'm going to need the, the the single track audio okay or the separate audio I'm going to drop that into sync so now we have everything in one spot that we need to sync all right now um, at this point I'm going to go into the list view because I want to I want to add some metadata to these all right so the first thing I'm going to do is anything that's camera A right I'm going to come over here to my inspector. Now, if you don't see this, it's going to be like this. So you open it up like that. And quite frankly, it usually defaults to the video view. And then you have the audio view and you have the info view. Okay, so we have all of camera A selected. So I'm going to come down here and type cam A. You notice that populates that field right there. Then I'm going to do all of the audio and I'm going to call that camera name I know it doesn't make any sense, but we're going to call that camera name audio. Yeah, that didn't make any sense at all. And then I'm going to take all of camera B and we're going to call that cam B. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to keep track of where the first interview is. Now, I remember I said it was it went through to the first clip of card two. So here's a two and that's this guy. And then the very next shot is the next guy. And you notice that slate, the slate says take four. Now we do something very uh, routinely in our shoots where we actually write the file name for the audio on the video slate. So you notice there in red, it is labeled number four because I have a, a clip number four out of my audio recorder. That's good to know because that's the beginning of the second interview. So next thing I want to do is I want to start, I want to start um, selecting all of the stuff that is the first interview. So what it would that be? That's going to be everything that is, um, you know, let's do it. Let's do a little trick here. I'm going to use the note section and I'm going to use the note section and I'm going to select everything here. And in notes, I'm going to call it interview one. All right. Then I'm going to take, and I, I happen to know because on the first clip of interview two, it says uh, audio file number four. That means that audio files zero through three are notes in interview one. All right. And then I'm going to do the same drill with the B camera and the first clip of B2, and I'm going to call it interview one. All right, so now check this out. If I come over here and type interview one, I get everything that is interview one. You notice that? I have all the A camera, I have all the audio and all the B camera. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is just because we're here is I'm gonna come over here and as it turns out, I really don't need, well, I probably do because this will search for anything. I'm going to call that interview two and I'm going to copy it so it's a little easier. 
and I've filled it in there. I'm gonna do it on the audio files and I'm gonna paste it in there and I'm gonna do it on the camera files and I'm gonna paste it in there. So now when I type interview one, right here I get everything for interview one. That's very, very cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna say, make me a new multicam clip. Now it's important to remember that when you first open up the multicam clip uh, or you invoke the multicam clip command, you're gonna get this simplified dialog box. And what you wanna do is you wanna turn on the custom settings because there's more stuff in there that's gonna help this go a lot quicker. So use custom settings. Now I already have these set the way I want it. The uh, angle assembly. Now, if you think about it, there's going to be a ton of clips. And if you've ever done this with a ton of clips to create a multicam, what happens is quite often it gives each clip its own layer. And you get this sort of stair step thing going down in the multi clip viewer. So if I select angle assembly and look at the camera name, that means everything with the same camera name will be on one layer. And then how do I order that? Will I order it by content created? In other words, what is the creation date of that file? Assuming that each file is subsequent after the previous ones, they're all going to um, uh, string out uh, well together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm going to actually change my time code to zero. I want my uh, clip to start at zero, and I'm going to call it um, interview one. I guess so. Makes sense, and this all important checkbox here, use audio for synchronization. All right, click OK. Now, I've noticed that when I do half of the interviews at a time, it actually goes a lot quicker. And if you use the angle and the content created commands that I just showed you, it also goes a lot quicker. It does take a little bit of time. It's not the end of the world. It's not go home for the night. Uh, it might be, you know, go refresh your drink in the kitchen or, you know, maybe make a phone call or watch something on YouTube, but it doesn't take that long. You can see we're approaching done here, two thirds of the way through. And this is really cool. What it's gonna do is it's gonna make me one multicam clip with everything for interview one. And keep in mind that they started and stopped, well, at least four times because I have four audio files. And frankly, usually the first audio file is just, you know, tone and room tone or whatever. Now, what this does is it makes me a multicam clip and it dumps it into the event. Now, I want to show you another little trick. I've actually made some smart collections. One of them is multicam. So when I click on this, every one of my multicams gets put in there automatically. Now, you notice there's no picture here and that's a little odd and a little disconcerting, but we're gonna figure that out pretty quick here. So I double click on interview and it opens it up in the multicam viewer. Now, first of all, we could see here, see how it, the little TV icon is right there? Well, that's why there's no picture in my multicam clip because it's choosing the video source from the audio track. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the audio down to the bottom because you know that's just the way I am. And otherwise, cam A and cam B. So you see what it did is it alphabetized the camera angles with audio being uh, number one. So cam A, cam B, audio, all right? And it looks, at least to the casual observer, <clears throat> it looks like this stuff is in sync. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn on my multicam and I'm going to, then I can look at this. Now, I can't play you the content of this, so um, bear with me, um, you're not gonna hear anything, but just look at their lips. See that? He looks like he's in sync there. Let's go to the first section here. See when he talks. That looks like it's in sync. Come down here. Yeah. All right, check it out. Everything's in sync. Now, there's a cool trick that I just learned recently. Um, I learned it from my friend Ben Consoli watching one of his tutorials. I wanna show you what would happen if one of these clips came in out of sync. It might do it, um, you never know. It just sometimes it gets, it gets a little wonky. So if I go like this, I could see I'm obviously not in sync because in one clip, the, the lips are moving and the other, they're not. So here's a trick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the upper track and I'm going to select here and say, make 
track A or cam A my monitoring angle. Now, I know that doesn't make much sense yet, but bear with me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the clip that's wonky. And I can kind of tell it's wonky here. And I come down over here and I say, sync that selection to the monitoring angle. So in other words, use cam A as a reference and then watch it. It will slide cam B in to match cam A. So once I select that, it's going to think about it for a little bit and watch it closely in the timeline. Whoop. Isn't that cool? So if you have individual bits that are out of sync, you might be able to fix them doing that. And of course, you can always zoom in, look at the waveform, do it old school, look at the clapperboard, whatever it takes. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do it if indeed it doesn't sync. I got to tell you, it almost always syncs. So that's how I do one camera. Um, it is now in my multicam at this point. I could uh, start my edit, bring it into a timeline and go. I'm not going to do it for the second one. If you want to see what it looks like, uh, rewind the tutorial and pretend you're pointing at different clips. Thanks for watching. This is Syncing Multicam. Take care. Later, later.